Welcome ulit sa ating uh, virtual classroom. So, sa fluid uh, mechanics lesson 7 na tayo. Pero, actually, andito pa tayo sa, ano, sa hydrostatic uh, pressure. So, bali related pa rin ito ng lesson 6 natin, yung hydrostatic pressure. Uh, so, yun, i-discuss natin yung uh, tungkol sa YouTube uh, manometer. So, yung manometer, yun yung mga ginagamit pang measure ng uh, pressure sa isang pipe or sa isang tank. Okay, no? So, kung makikita nyo dito sa figure, meron tayong pipe dito, tapos uh, merong fluid na uh, flowing, flowing uh, to this direction. No? So, ito yung kinatawag na YouTube uh, manometer. So, ito yun, no? kinakabit sa pipe, tapos uh, yung pressure measurement is uh, para ma uh, i-measure yung uh, pressure head. So, kung ano yung um, height bali ng uh, liquid dito. No? So, madalas na ginagamit na pang-measure ng uh, pressure head is yung uh, mercury. Kasi, kasi nga, uh, medyo mabigat yung uh, mercury compared to other fluids. So, uh, malaking pressure difference, kaya niya lang i-represent ng uh, uh, small lang na, ano, na, na, ano ba tawag doon? Uh, shorter column of, uh, shorter height ng column ng uh, liquid or ng mercury. Kaya madalas na ito yung ginagamit bilang uh, uh, manometer, manometer liquid. Okay? So, ang principles uh, sa paggamit ng manometer ay... Pareho lang doon sa na-discuss natin earlier na yung uh, tulad ng paggamit ng uh, piezometer, uh, yung pag-compute uh, ng uh, pressure from one point or from from one point to another point uh, na may iba-ibang elevation na yung P equals sa uh, unit weight times height. So, ganun pa rin yung um, principle na gagamitin. So, pag bababa, meron kang additional pressure. Pag aangat ka naman, meron kang... Uh, uh, mamamainos na pressure no, na meron kang difference na pressure okay so and bibigay tayo ng uh, sample problem sa manometer so ito no meron tayong uh, water 10 degrees celsius given yung uh, <coughs> unit weight ng water at that particular temperature um, mercury is the manometer uh, fluid and if the deflection delta h is uh, 60 cm and length from 0.3 to 0.4 is 180 cm what is the gauge pressure at the center of the pipe? Okay? So, sinasabi dito, meron tayong um, water, no? Uh, dito sa, ito yung main na pipe. Tapos, kinabit lang dyan yung uh, manometer natin. Tapos, itong medyo dark na colored na liquid, ito yung manometer. So, given din yung um, unit weight ng ating uh, mercury, which is uh, 133 kN per cubic meter. So, mas mabigat na. Sobrang bigat niya sa... Sobrang mas mabigat siya kaysa water. No? Anyway, the required for this problem is to get the pressure daw dito sa center line ng ating pipe which is at 0.4. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito, um, magsisimula tayo sa a certain point tapos uh, pupunta tayo sa the other point. No? Since ang uh, required dito is 0.4, so magsisimula tayo sa 0.1 tapos dadali natin yung uh, computation natin papuntang 0.4. And... Mas convenient din pag magsimula tayo sa point 1 kasi ito, pag open sa atmosphere, alam na natin agad yung pressure dyan, no? which is uh, zero, okay? So, solution, yun nga, point 1 is uh, zero yung pressure, ito yan kasi open sa atmosphere. So, hindi magmamatter kung tubig yan or mercury or kung ano pang liquid. No? As long as uh, meron kang uh, atmospheric na surface dito, naka-open yung uh, tube mo. So, atmospheric pressure, zero gauge pressure yan, automatic, okay? So, dadali natin yung uh, computation natin from point 0.1 to point 0.2. So, recall na ang pressure natin is just equivalent to um, unit weight times height. No? Ito yun. Tapos, uh, pagbaba, pagbababa, baba uh, meron kang increase in pressure. Pag aangat naman, meron kang decrease. So, ito, pagbaba ka from, from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.2. So, decrease in elevation, meaning increase in pressure. So, mag-a-add ka ngayon. No? So, from P1 plus ito yun. Yung uh, unit weight times height. So, unit weight times height from 0.1 to 0.2. So, positive kasi meron kang decrease in elevation no? from 0.1 to 0.2. Tapos, tapos uh, substitute lang natin yung unit weight ng mercury na given, which is uh, 133, tapos yung delta H na 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters. No? Convert na natin to meters since nakameter yung isa nating um, unit no? yung sa unit weight. And then, meron na tayong pressure sa... 0.2, which is uh, 79.8 kN per square meter, or that's uh, 79.8 kilopascals. Okay? 
So, from 0.2 to 3, ito kasi uh, pare yung liquid lang. So, kung anong pressure na pagbaba mo dito, uh, makakancel out siya ng pressure pag punta mo dun sa kabila. No? Kasi pareho lang sila ng height, tapos pareho lang sila ng uh, liquid. Ibig sabihin, pareho lang yung pressure ng 0.2 tsaka 0.3. Okay? So, pressure at 0.3 is just equal to 0.2. Kasi nga, no, pag bababa ka dito, equal din yung pressure niya dito. So, ito positive, tas aangat ka, magne-negative, so magiging 0. So, uh, pressure at 0.3 is just equal to pressure at 0.2. Ngayon, uh, pumunta na tayo sa uh, from 0.3 to 0.4. So, from, from 0.3 to 0.4, meron kang increase in elevation. So, paangat ka, ibig sabihin, magsasubtract ka ng Ah, elevate ah, ng pressure no? So, subtract to Ayan So, anyway Subtract naman yung ginawa natin no? Okay, so magsasubtract ka ng uh, Pressure from 0.3 to 0.4, so ang liquid natin Ngayon is uh, water na So, hindi na siya mercury So, unit weight na ng water yung gagamitin natin Tapos yung height na from 0.3 to 0.4 So, subject na natin yung pressure kanina 0.3 at 0.3 79.8 uh, kN per square meter tapos ito yung unit weight ng water and then you have the distance from 0.3 to 0.4 is 180 cm or that's 1.8 meters okay so pressure at 0.4 is uh, 62.14 kN per square meter or that's 62.14 kilo pascal so basically yan yung yan lang yung pag-apply ng uh, uh, hydrostatic equation hydrostatic uh, pressure Uh, concept sa paggamit ng uh, manometer. No? So, yan. I think yun lang. No? Uh, madalas, uh, pag YouTube manometer naman, open lang sa atmosphere. So, dun ka lagi magsisimula sa, yun, kung yung may value. No? So, madalas yung open sa atmosphere kasi agad, uh, zero na yung uh, pressure. Tandaan lagi na pag bababa ka, mag-i-increase, ay, mag-de-decrease yung elevation mo. Laging may increase sa pressure, so positive. Tapos pag uh, angat ka naman, mag increase yung elevation, uh, mag decrease naman yung pressure, so magsasubtract ka nun. So anyway, yun na yun para sa uh, sample problem na to. Ito yung introduction value ng manometer. So magbibigay pa tayo ng uh, sample problem for uh, manometer, YouTube manometer specifically, and then yun. Uh, thank you ulit sa pagsama, and then see you sa next na vlog natin. Thank you.